All right, welcome to another video, guys. I am Lonnie, and today we are going to be going back to basics. Um, I haven't used these in quite a while, so I thought it would be instructive for both me and for a lot of you if we just take a look at some basic function of the Uno, um, or of the Arduino in, in general. So what I've done here, let's take a look at this setup real quick. It's crazy looking, right? What we've got here is we've got 20 LEDs, um, and they are, I've got all the short legs going over to the negative side or the ground side of the power rail here. And you see this white wire here? This is going to the ground of the Uno. So all those are tied together on the, uh, on the negative side of the power rail. On the other side, uh, have each one of the longer legs going to a, I think these are 220 ohm resistors to limit the current that goes to each one of these, uh, each one of these LEDs. And then from there, I have jumpers going to each one of the pins. And, uh, you know, one point I would make here is that when you're first getting started with the Uno, you may see, see right here where it says analog in on these AO, A1, A2 pins. Yeah, those are, um, that is analog to digital converter there, but these pins can also be used as digital write. Every, every IO pin on the Arduino can be used as, for digital write. So they can all be used as digital pins. Now you have, um, you, you, you do have like some pens, like these pens are the ones that are used for analog in for the um, analog to digital conversion. And then you have certain pens that can uh, be used for pulse width modulation. That's another video, but all of them can you be used for uh, digital write. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, it's just like in showing the structure of a program. Uh, so yeah. I have, I'm starting at uh, pin zero right here. And also that says RX zero and this says TX one. These are also both just regular old digital pens too if you want them to be. All right, so I've got this first LED here is on zero and then we go all the way up to 13 on the digital pens. And then we come back around to this side going down the breadboard here and starting over again at A0 through A5. Uh, so we've got, what is that, 14 digital pins, 0 through 13, and we've got six of these analog pins over here that, uh, that we're using. So there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the code because that was one of the main reasons I wanted to do this video was to kind of share the code and then we'll see what this code actually does. Um, I whipped this up a little while ago. I thought it'd be faster to go ahead and have it ready to go. I uh, didn't want to have to type it while I was talking. So uh, first of all, every program has to have, or every sketch has to have two, uh, two functions. A setup function that I've outlined in orange here, void setup, and then in, in braces here. You don't have to necessarily put anything in here, but you have to have that function. And then you also have to have a void loop function here. The setup function, everything that's in the setup function is run once. So that's why we're, you know, a peek ahead. That's why we're saying uh, setting the pin mode here um, because we only need to do that once in the, in the sketch. Now the loop, where it says void loop, as the name might clue you in everything within the loop is run over and over and over as long as the Arduino has power so starts at the top works its way down starts over again loop um, so that's where you put the main body of your program so um, having said that let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done in this sketch so in our setup portion since we're doing um, since we're doing 20 20 pins here or 20 20 um, output pins that we need to set here 
instead of doing pin mode zero comma output, pin mode one comma output, pin mode two comma out, and having a, like a, a super long list of pin mode commands here, I decided just to do a little for loop instead. Uh, and you, you can do that in the setup, it's fine. So um, one other thing to note is on the Arduino, you'll notice, well, let me zoom in here. Let's look at the Arduino again, because this is a, this is a pretty good point to make here. On the Arduino, you'll notice that, I'm not sure if that's coming out good or not. Hopefully it is. You'll notice all of your digital pins going through here, they're numbered zero through 13. So they make sense. Like if you're gonna do a for loop, that they work really well with that. But then what if you wanna do four zero to all the pins, including these analog pins over here? Because they start off A0, A1. I don't know if you can see that or not. But if you have an art there, now you can see it. They start off A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. So how do you put them all in a loop? And as you probably already saw from my code, uh, you can refer to A0, A1, A2. You can refer to them as A0 in your code, or you can actually just call it, um, that would be number 15 right here. Because remember, we're zero based because we start at zero, we go to 13. A0 can be re referenced as A0 or pin 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wait, am I doing this right? No. It's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I lost one somewhere. So that that's that's how, if we go back to the sketch here, um, I have a for loop. I have to declare it as an integer. I equals zero. That's just a uh, initialization of that variable. And then we're going to say as long as I is less than or equal to 19, which um, that last analog pin is going to be 19 because we're zero based. And then we're going to increment I plus plus just means we're going to increment I by one after it runs this. So um, the body of the for loop, pin mode, I, uh, comma, output, it sets it as an output. And that's it. So pretty simple. It runs through that. And that's a lot faster than, you know, putting all those pin mode statements there. So that's a nice little hack. Um, or not hack, I mean, a lot of people do that, but it's a nice little practice there. Uh, okay, now getting into the loop. I make a variable at the top of the loop called int weight uh, equals nine. That just sets a delay because we use that delay twice here in the rest of the uh, sketch. So rather than have to change it two times, you can just change it once up top if you want to play around with that uh, delay. So first we have a for loop. The purpose of this for loop, and I'm going to comment out loud since I didn't write any comments in the, uh, in the actual program. The purpose of this first for loop is to simply set all pins to high, which uh, turns them all on, gives them all five volts, and then there's a delay here of the wait time that we've set up here, and then it turns them all off, okay? And this goes from zero to 19, and then we run this next for loop here that goes 19 to zero, and then it decrements instead of increments, I minus minus, and it does the same thing, high, wait, low. And then we do it all over again. So the purpose of that code is to start at one end, start at one end, ding, 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 right? That's what we're doing. Uh, and it's going to keep on just going back and forth over and over. And with that weight at nine, that means it's going to turn this, turn this LED on. It's going to wait nine milliseconds. That, that's what that um, delay statement does. However, whatever number you put within the parentheses of the delay statement, that's in milliseconds. So this light goes on. It waits nine milliseconds. It goes low, so it turns off. This one comes on, waits nine milliseconds, turns off. This one comes over and over. 
that's what's going to happen here. So um, I think I've thoroughly over-explained that code. Let's uh, let's see it in action. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm going to upload the code now. Let's see what happens. All right, it's pretty cool looking. Let me see if I can make it a little cooler. Yeah, that looks a little better. So that is with the delay at nine milliseconds. Let me, I'll show you what it looks like when we go, say 20 milliseconds. I'll upload 20 here. And it gets, like it gets way slower because that delay has increased on each one of those LEDs. So even though 11 milliseconds doesn't sound like much, it's actually times 20. So it's actually like, what, a fifth of a second, which you can actually kind of sense there. And then let's do it really fast. We'll do like five. And there, there becomes a point where with these LEDs, well, you can still see five moving. Actually, it's a pretty low point here because it's multiplied by 20. But even, okay, that's even at two. We can still see a lot of flicker. You can't really, almost looks like they're all just flashing, although you can see a little bit of motion there. Let's see what happens if we do one. Can we see one? This is one millisecond delay. There's still flicker. Still flicker because effectively it's 20 millisecond delay on each one of those LEDs. So that's interesting. So now let's do zero millisecond delay. And now, even though they're all, with, with no delay, they're all turning off and on over almost instantly, really, really fast. But they never, our vision won't let us see, and probably the physical characteristics of the LED won't let us see them actually turn off. So uh, I'll tell you what we can do then. I'm, now I'm going to comment out. I'll comment out the part where we turn them off and we can see how much brighter they are when they don't turn off. Okay, this is what they look like when they're all just set to high and you can see it's a lot brighter that way. So, all right guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. hope y'all learned a little something. Uh, I know I did doing this because uh, before I did this little project here, which is pretty simple. Um, I never actually tried, I, I figured, because a lot of the stuff they do is pretty smart, I never actually tried to address A0 as 14 before, and so on, down the, the analog pin. So that was pretty cool that they did that, and I didn't even look it up. I just tried it. I, I tried addressing it as, I bet they made that 14. I tried it, and sure enough, it worked. So hope you all enjoyed. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.